So, as you might know, I've been playing around with Olama recently to run large language models locally on my machine. And I actually came across this blog post um, that shows you how you can run uh, Sourcegraph's Kodi AI code assistant uh, locally and actually fully offline. You know, for example, when you're on a flight and you don't have great Wi Fi. Um, to actually run the AI code completion and chat um, within VS Code. And I thought this was really cool, so I wanted to um, show you this. So basically, when you have Olama installed on your machine, um, now, ideally, you know, code stroll would be nice, but the 22 billion model doesn't run so, so well on my uh, old M1 MacBook Air. But actually, the Llama 3 uh, 8 billion model is quite good for both the code completion as well as the chat. So what you can do is you can pull your Llama 3 8 billion, uh, and then you can just start up your Olama server locally. So you can say um, Olama surf. So now um, the, the, the server is uh, up and running locally on localhost port, um, this one, 11.43.4. And so you need kind of two pieces of configuration. So if you go to um, here, the Kodi extension, once you you know have it installed from the marketplace, you can go to the settings um, and then you can go to um, your settings and you can just flip this around to get kind of access to all the settings here. And so basically there's two pieces. You need this um, experimental Olama for the autocomplete provider. Uh, and then the Olama options, you put in the URL and the model. And then for Kodi dev um, model, so this is kind of the chat models um, that you want to provide. So you say provider Olama uh, model, uh, again, Llama 3B and the API endpoint. And optionally you can uh, enable this uh, verbose debugger, which is quite useful. So if you open up the output, you can then select Kodi by source graph there. Um, and so yeah, actually, you can see, you know, it's running here. Um, and so now if I say, you know, um, that's it, you know, as long as Olama server is running in the background, um, this setup allows you to use both code completion and code chat features without relying on any external service or internet connection. In fact, and so you can see now that it is making a request um, to our Olama server. And it will um, now, you know, in the beginning of the first time it needs to load um, kind of the model. So that kind of needs to happen once. But then once that has happened, this uh, in fact, you know, most of this last two hours, I spent. <laughs> so actually, last time I, I tested this out, it was uh, uh, most of this last paragraph was written um, 30,000 feet above the sea. Um, so <laughs> it was actually a bit funnier. Um, yeah, was written, was written by, uh, yeah, Lemma 38B itself. So you can see that like as kind of the code completion is happening here, um, the Olama server is hitting the API generate. So that is a kind of our completions API. Now, what we can also do is like we can, for example, go to like one of our um, super base, you know, we have a bunch of examples. For example, we have like an AI edge functions example. And we can open this up. Uh, and then what we can do is so kind of the way the chat works. So for example, we have like an, you know, um, index function here. And so we can say Cody uh, new chat. And then, um, you know, maybe actually to show you that I'm not uh, bluffing here, let's turn off uh, the Wi Fi. And so we would select here our Llama uh, 3 AB experimental. And we're feeding in our index.ts file. So that's our file that's um, open here. 
search index.ts. And then you can say, explain my code, please. Now, always good to be nice to your local model. Um, and you can see this llama here. Uh, and so now it's actually providing the context um, of, you know, kind of our, our files um, to the model. Uh, and in fact, yeah, if we go to the output here, uh, uh, and we go to Cody by Sourcegraph, we can see, um, you know, we're, we're not able to access um, Sourcegraph. So we're getting a bunch of errors for the telemetry. But you can see that we're actually generating here locally uh, edge function written in TypeScript, um, you know, import types and functions. Yeah, um, create client, uh, Superbase JS package, establish a connection to your super Superbase database, yeah, that's correct. Um, database type definitions, uh, defines the structure of your database schema. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't define it, but it encodes it actually focus on the main logic. Now you see, this is like, you know, my Wi-Fi is off. Um, uh, express a JSON payload with a search property. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Um, this new Superbase AI model, this line initializes an AI session model using the GTE small pre-trained model from Hugging Space. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's ab absolutely accurate. And so um, you can see, so in this case, we made a um, request to API slash chat here. Um, now, again, if we, you know, go back to our code. Um, so for example, here and da -da 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 -da. See here, if it, I mean, probably would have to start kind of writing some actual code. Um, but yeah, here, so actually if error, oh, well, I guess I kind of, uh, yeah, I, you know, I would actually need to, need to probably start, uh, start writing some code. So if I were to say data, um, I uh, know, result dot, uh, no, is that an array? What is the result actually? Ah, uh, yeah, so result is an array. And so you saw that it, it was now uh, proposing to do like a for each console log. Um, yeah, well, uh, anyway, yeah. So I, I think like just kind of a little um, PSA that this is really cool. Like, you know, even if you don't have a very beefy uh, computer you can run kind of the Llama 3 HB and it actually gives you, you know, pretty good, pretty good results. Even like, you know, it's just writing um, kind of blog posts, uh, pretty cool. So yeah, you know, maybe try it out yourself. Um, let me know if you're using kind of any uh, AI code assistant, um, you know, would love to, to hear. I only uh, recently found this and uh, I think it's it's pretty useful. It's pretty good. I like it. All right. Let me know. See you. Bye-bye.